You, you've studied the brain and, and the science behind this, and one of the questions I was just talking to Dr. Oz is this idea of mindfulness and TM, and I, I, I don't mean to, to set up a, a, a versus, if you will, the, the, these two issues, but the science of it all, um, the idea of being able to meditate in some other form uh, or do TM, what, what does the science say about what it does to the brain? Well, I want to just first say that this evidence that TM can prevent heart attacks and strokes over years and prolong life. I don't, I've never seen that for any other form of meditation. I think that's a unique data set from follow-up going over decades. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is their standard book on mindfulness says, look, this is going to be really difficult. You're going to have to just get used to that right up front and do it. Whereas TM never claims to be difficult. It's very easy. So that's the first thing. It's a natural process whereby you just dip into the state. The second difference is the emphasis on the transcendent. That's where it gets its name from, the special, unique state of consciousness that is the agent of change. Dr. Oz and, and, and anyone on the, uh, on the stage can speak to this. Are there some people just physically that, that can't do this for whatever reason, that, that you've come across either through the science that it just doesn't, it, it doesn't work? You know, you, you never know whether somebody can't do it or won't do it. Mm. <laughs> but certainly, not everybody ends up doing it. So I think that it's something that theoretically anybody could do because we all have that propensity. It's just a natural function of the brain. And I think if you have an inclination, it's very easy to do. And on that note, um, I'm going to thank you for this tremendous conversation. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Really, thank you. Thanks so much.